play. Love 15. serve was back at Venus's feet before she'd even recovered. 72 miles an hour return. Love 30. Let first service. Towards the line, and it's three break points. Love forty. It's long. Game misses that agro. First game. 40 years of age, slips over, gets up, forces the error, and breaks to love. Yeah, short backswing, short compact backswing on the return is very helpful. I like how she charges the return. She's known for intelligence on the court. And her terrific accuracy as well. Mrs. Data Krum Kimiko to serve. Fifteen. It's my first time commentating with the roof shut, and the thing that I'm immediately picking up is the echo. It's really a great atmosphere. The sound. Don't have to deal with the elements. Perfect temperature. Oh. Love thirty. There's six litres of fresh air every second are pumped into the centre court to prevent the grass getting hot and sweaty and slippery and to make it comfortable, obviously, for the players and the fans. Oh, that's clever. Fifteen thirty. Nice serve set that up. It was the placement. It was 89 miles per hour, but again, very close to the line. Hits it down low at Venus's feet and the lob just out of reach for Venus to do much damage and then the quick hands.
40, 30. Yeah, Dad will be a little worried at the moment. Richard Williams, of course. begins at 40, Tracy. Yes, you just could not ask for a better start from Kamiko Date Crum. You can see why she got to four in the world. Hits the ball extremely fat, flat. There'll be very little rotation of any top spin on the ball, but the depth is absolutely magnificent. And because she stands so close to the baseline and hits it early, it really robs her opponents of time to react. So easy. Just a quick shoulder turn straight through to her target. inspirational it really is but Venus doesn't see this 15, style of 15. play where the ball is being taken so early on the return Venus trying to hit that kick serve to get it up but Date Crum hits it early and comes forward Venus, you better get your first serve in because when you've missed it, you've lost every single point. Two points for three love. Well, Tracy and I are lo looking at each other with huge grins on our faces, shaking our heads and saying, this is ridiculous. Well, I think it's wonderful that she's playing so well. And as soon as Venus was passed on that last shot, she took a long look at her box like in disbelief. Well, Kimiko won her first set of her first round match, six love in 15 minutes. She's three love up in nine minutes. Mind you, that was against Britain, British wildcard Katie O'Brien. This is against the five times champion. It is. There's that look up, friends and family. What is happening? Really, it's Kamiko Date Crum that is just playing extraordinary tennis right now. Everything seems to be working. Time. Her return 
so accurate. Her ground strokes so deep and very flat. And on this surface, really moves through the court, tough to control. Can she keep it up? Fifteen love. Venus wants to sink her teeth into this match. She cannot miss second serves like that. That was pretty short. First winner of the match from uh, Venus Williams. Eight from her opponent. Fifteen thirteen. Just such an abbreviated backswing. Hits it out in front. Thirty forty. So she is human after all, Daddy Crum. A couple of unforced errors in this game have given Venus Williams. The first break point. Ah! Even attempting a surf and volley. Three games to one, first set. Freudian slip there by Arampa, Eva Azdraki, saying game to Mrs. Williams. I don't think she's married yet. Nate Crum has no problem with targets and people coming in at her because, of course, in the era that she was playing her best tennis, there were so many serving volleyers. She was used to that. 15 all. Very smart serve from Venus. Took some pace off, but threw in the slice. Date Crum at five foot four doesn't have the range as most of the top players. Just so accurate, measures it perfectly. That is phenomenal. That's so exciting. 
exciting to watch. On a first serve, she comes into the net. 15-40. Aggressive mode, and look at the pickup. Terrific hands. Two points to restore the double break. That's all, yeah, and yeah, Dante Crumb breaks again. Mrs. Dante Crumb leads four games to one, first set. All around the world, Tracy, people of a, of a certain age are thinking, where are my old rackets? Maybe I can play like this. I was thinking more of the juniors all around the world are thinking, wow, okay, maybe I need to take some of those shorter mid-court shots earlier and come to the net it's really rushing her opponent not often that venus williams is out head but that is happening on the ground strokes obviously not on the serve but it is stunning what uh, kimiko is doing talk about turning black the clock and i was chatting to uh, someone who works for the women's tour this morning and they were saying well everything about kimiko she doesn't, doesn't have an A game. She has a B game, a C game, and a D game. She can think out there and adapt to the particular match, to the particular opponent. Time. And that's why, coming back, some of her opponents have, have really been perplexed, is because she has these different styles to go to. The backhand slice you saw there, hitting that ball early. So Bruce Forsyth. Probably thinking he needs to sign up Kimiko for the next series of uh, his show. And Kim Cattrall, the actress from Sex in the City, in the crowd. And now we're going to see how quickly Venus can adapt to some an opponent she's never played before, playing a very different style to what she's used to. Out fifteen thirty. Venus Williams definitely has not found her rhythm yet. Doc De Crum has not allowed that. Few serving volleys, few slices, rushing her with the deep ground strokes. to come forward is wonderful. 40-30. Venus in trouble. Great racket head control on the last backhand volley. Tati Crumb's already been at the net 10 times in 19 minutes. Mrs. 
Zlatan Krug leads five games to one. First set. I can't think of any more superlatives for this performance. It is just amazing. 20 minutes, 5-1 against the five times champion at 40. I'm sure the concern is really starting to grow now for Venus Williams. Down 3-1 is one thing. You're still can get your foot back in the door. Down 5-1 and Dante Crom doesn't seem to be letting up. Venus cranking up the serve, 114 miles an hour. Still hasn't won a point behind her second serve, Venus. So much credit goes to Dante Crum for that. She's jumping all over them. Led for service. on the second serve. But it's that same one that she puts Third the spin. The right side of the ball that really spins away from Date Crum. Again, smarter serving there, not necessarily bigger, is better all the time. Yes, it was just 86 miles an hour, but she had that angle. That's what made it so successful. Widen in the area that Date Crum has to defend. Game is Williams. Mrs. Dada Krug leads five games to two, first set. So Venus Williams holds serve for the first time, but I was just thinking 24 minutes have gone, and for once we've hardly talked about Venus because she's just had the spotlight grabbed away from her. It'll be interesting to see how she reacts now. Up to 5-1, it was really Date Crum who was dictating play in, in the course of the match. Venus was really reacting in that last game seventh game Venus really started to take control away from Dr. Krem and that's what she's used to playing with that style. New set of balls coming out of course these uh, this is the 125th championship so I gather just reading an article in the newspaper this morning that the uh, souvenirs in the Wimbledon shop are going so quick they're almost run out it's only day three the ones with the 125th Time. anniversary on very special. Yep. Well, uh, you've noticed there are a lot of uh, Japanese photographers in there, and this could be the first really huge story of the championships. A 40-year-old against the five times champion, serving for the first set. There's nothing about Kamiko Date Krum that looks 40, though, I will say. <laughs> Love 15. Not her movement doesn't hasn't seemed to lost even a half a step.
love 30. Ten stroke rally, one of the longer ones. You just feel now that Williams is getting to terms with this match for the first time. Starting to impose herself. Fifteen forty. First little sign of frustration. We all know that it's one thing to build a lead, it's another to convert it into a into a set or a match. She has two service games to close out this set. Again, that pickup, just phenomenal. That was pretty hard coming off the grass 30, from Venus 40. Williams and just picks it up very quickly. Way out in front and flat. A little bit of slice, so it really moves through the court nicely. Use. Break point down. Serve and volley, no problem. Really caught Williams by surprise. Wait, please. Pity. Advantage, Miss Williams. Her first double fault. Was just a slight delay when the spare ball uh, was brought back in from the crowd. Third break point for Venus Williams. dawning or just a temporary blip I think a little lapse of concentration there now interesting that's for our benefit and that last serve that was called a fault was in if she challenged she'd have had another first serve Crum had a good shot at going for a little bit more on that second serve that was only 76 miles per hour. Not going to get another shot in the point that slow. I suppose we'd say that um, Date Crum deserves a little bit of luck from the way she's been playing with yeah, 
one of those uh, heartfelt apologies when you're really <laughs> saying to yourself, yes, please, can I have two more of those? Or three. She's off to do a London Marathon before <laughs> the next point. But a so super pick-up from Williams. how she's absorbing the pace. If Fair she's deal. there, she has no trouble. She gets her knees down, bent. Just terrific hands taking, again, the pace out of the ball. Stops the racket head at impact. Room. Thirty Fastest serve of the match, produced by Venus Williams. She has the fastest recorded serve in the women's game. Subtle things like that. Venus's favorite serve, second serve, is the slice out to the right. Dante Crum now moving way to her left. She's moving around her positioning on the return. Very smart. Another set point. Advantage, Mrs. Data Crew.
Advantage, Miss Williams. It's a mark of a great champion as Venus is that she's producing these huge serves in the crisis. What a game this has been. And you feel it could well be the deciding game of the match. behind the baseline comes up with a roaring forehand winner. Juice. Just not that big, but her technique is so clean. Miss Williams. She's enjoying it as much as I'm sure you are. What a set of tennis this has been, and there's still more to come. Williams. It was long, and Venus Williams survives two set points. Mrs. Data Groom leads five games to four, first set. And suddenly, Venus has won three games, and it's a different match now. And now the pressure is on Kimiko to close out this set. Very much so, and she doesn't have that same ability on her serve to come up with the aces or the free points. She's so strong mentally. This is obviously the biggest game here for her. She's so strong mentally. I think she'll be able to just focus on the next few points in the next game and not worry about what's been the two points that she's lost, the two set points. Looks like she has some of the Japanese juniors in her box who will be playing in the junior event next week. What an inspiration for them. She's just idolized in Japan. Time. First Japanese woman to get into the top five. And when she's in Japan, it's just crazy. In fact, that's probably one of the reasons why she retired. It was just all too much for her in her mid-20s. She was still at the top of the game. Retired for 12 years. It has been. I wanted to wait until that uh, point was over Love before 15. talking. It has been compelling. At one stage, Dante Crum led 5 1, playing brilliant tennis. She's had two set points. Venus Williams came up with two huge serves to save them. Fifteen all. 
Venus Williams has dug very deep because she was totally surprised, as we were, frankly, with the brilliant form of Date Crum in the first six games of this match. That's only the third point she's lost when coming to the net, the Japanese. She's won 11. And you can really feel the tide turning here. Grass being loosened by Date Crumbs. Get the feeling this is her last opportunity. Points now for Williams, and the points much longer in the last 15 minutes. 15, it was all going 14. way too fast for Venus for the first six games. A little perplexed by different game style and the variety. Well, in her last service game, Dati Crum got it back from 15.40 to Juice, and then served two double faults. Now, can she close out this set? There's the frustration. It's set point for the third time. Advantage misses Dati Crum. amazing well, we have seen some of the best tennis you could ever wish to see in this opening set this time it's Williams who responds superbly just puts a little more power on the last shot but just a high quality first set Third break point then, having saved three set points. Fifteen thousand people have just sighed, I think, seeing that. But all credit to Venus Williams. I mean, on the three set points, she's played exceptional tennis. And that's what champions do. And the fact that she was out for five months before playing in Eastbourne. 
Played a few matches there. Not match tough to come up with the goods, just phenomenal effort. Fifteen love. Light for service. Fifteen all. Twenty winners now from Kimiko Date. And four aces from Venus Williams. Thirty fifteen. A couple of points ago, she slipped. Yeah, nasty stumble. Forty fifteen. Venus Williams playing much better now, and she doesn't feel like her back is against the wall as when she was down 5-1. Played herself into this match. is in the game. Miss Williams leads six games to five, first set. And five games in a row for Venus Williams. And I know some people are saying that if Venus and Serena dominate this tournament, it's a terrible indictment on the women's game, given how little they've played. But all I can say is after yesterday with Serena and Aravine Rezai and all the emotion tough match and now this the women's game is richer for their return oh very much so such incredible champions venus williams seven time grand slam champion serena 13 and because of their athleticism really the first couple of players that that i think changed the game when they were on the defensive position were able to hit an offensive shot so then everyone else after them had to get fitter get stronger become more aggressive and it was Kleisters and enna right after them that Benefited, Time. elevated their game. But they play so well on the critical points. And now it's up to the new generation, the Wozniakis, the Azarenkas, to step up to the plate and say, well, they can play like that. We've got 2-2. Two -two. This will be an interesting game here to see how sturdy Kamiko Date is emotionally. That huge lead evaporated. Fifteen. 
it's often just a little out wide where the grass has not been worn at all that the players will slip. Fifteen or exchange not too many players would have been able to reach that 15, pass 13. but at six foot one with those long arms long legs so close to the net excellent look just one push and venus is there terrific coverage It may be pouring with rain, but it's sunshine tennis. It's wide. 30, 40. Having had three set points against her. Venus Williams now has one of her own. Very bold move from Date down a set point and excellent volley on the full stretch. Use. He's without fear. Advantage, Mrs. Data Crew. Opening the court. Four Both minutes of one brilliant, brilliant tennis. If there's a better set of women's tennis in this championships, I want to be here to see it. It's just too good. One zero misses that a group. It's funny, in every Wimbledon there is one match in which the championship comes alive. And this is it. This is breathtaking. Her twenty third winner.
Mrs. Datekrum. Between them, 36 winners in the match so far, 20 unforced errors. Six aces now. Is that a group? You straight away, she got under the ball, lifted it over the baseline. All credit to Date Crum. Had that huge lead, three set points, then let it go. Venus Williams gets the 6 5 lead. You think there's no way she's still in this set. It bounces back. That mental toughness still showing through at 40 years old. One of the best assets along with her footwork, her speed. So often a net court does lead to an error because your timing is put off, the ball isn't coming through at the pace you anticipate. She reached for it, therefore. the set and it's four more set points for Six Date Crum. Oh, <laughs> 
couple of inches. Six four, misses that they're coming. It's wide. Six five misses that group. Five set points now. Why? What am I talking about? Six, isn't it? Last one. The last one. Venus's serve. What an extraordinary set of tennis. Seven set points saved by Venus Williams, one by Kimiko Date. 63 minutes they've been playing for. Six games all, six points all. The first challenge <laughs> of the match. Will it be another set point for this lady or another one for Venus? Oh, it's a millimeter in. Oh, oh, now we really have had everything in this set. Seven, six. The ball seemed to hang Miss in the air Williams. forever. Miss Williams has three challenges remaining. Set point number eight. This is my 38th Wimbledon. I have never, ever seen a better set of women's tennis than that. That was wonderful. It certainly had everything. High quality tennis, changes of momentum, the storylines, Venus Williams coming back after being off five months as five-time past champion, Kamiko Date, former semi-finalist, Lost to Steffi Groff in three sets, got to as high as four in the world, taking 12 years off. Signing to come back and at 40 years old, takes the first set from Venus Williams. And having lost seven set points to have the nerve, the courage. The resiliency to maintain that mental strength. Just look at the last two lines 42 winners between them 22 unforced errors i mean it does not get better than this 
look at Venus Williams first service percentage, 78 percent. And that big booming serve that says so much about the Date Crumb return a serve. She's reading it well. Because she's only winning just over half of her first service points. Despite that. And Jones, of course, champion here at 68. And the whole way around this arena, people are talking to each other. But smiling. Anne has a <laughs> yeah, smile on her face the, because how can you not have a smile? It's such a this wonderful watch, so match and to watch. Even the Rafa fans are texting and saying, I'm sure this is wonderful. Every generation inspired by this. And we've got potentially two more sets. Fifteen love. Martina, Martina Navratilova got to the second round of Wimbledon when she was 47. That was inspiring as well. Yeah. Led for service. Won a Grand Slam title in mixed doubles at the U.S. Open. Martina was 50. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirteen. Now you'd expect there to be a little letdown at the start of this set because they will have both used up so much adrenaline and emotion in the climax to the first. Now we have seen everything. That was a left handed lob. She always did that when she got stretched wide and couldn't use the two hands. She would take the right hand off and use the left hand. Sharapova does that as well. But, but Kimiko is naturally left-handed. But it wasn't polite in Japanese society to play left-handed. Led for service. Unlike Rafael Nadal, who's naturally right-handed, but Uncle Tony said, you'll do better playing left-handed. So Daddy Crumb holds. Now Hawkeye First can tell us whether the ball sense. is in or out, but he can also tell us a lot more. And have a look at this. Just see where Daddy Crumb is standing to receive the most powerful serve in the women's game. Is she backing off? Is she heck? She's stepping in, even against the first serve. She's taking a lot of them inside the baseline. And that does the same thing as returning with power. It's all about rushing your opponent. And the power rushes your opponent, but if you stand and hit the ball very early, it gets the same job done. Of course, you need to have great hand-eye to be able to do that. Good quick feet. Definitely someone that you want to watch on the return of serve for all the kids out there. She really gets that good split step and bounds forward into her shot. Love 15.
Now that ball was actually in, I can tell you, it was called out. Now, the reason I know it was in, we have a little monitor in our commentary box, and that's what we had already seen, just caught the back edge of the line. That was the first point of this game. So it should actually be 30 love. No, because it was playable shot. Well, so I they suppose would have, it played they a would have replayed the point. Take Crumb fell down. 15 30. Again, it's when you're outside the alleys, tram lines as you call them, that where it's a little greener. A little more moisture in the court still, early stages of the tournament. in a second serve, already down a game in the second set. That just begged for a lob there. Venus was just two feet from the net. Tremendous feel from Date Crumb on that drop shot. We talk about Kamiko Date's return and how phenomenal it is. It really sets her apart, but also her footwork. Just her foot speed and then the lots of little steps. Always moving. Game all, second set. Made the decision to move forward far too late that time. Uh, Dati Krum was caught trying to play the volley from behind the service line, as you can see. Crum talked about the difference she played on the tour before and now obviously the height has changed so many more of the women are taller more physically strong one of the big reasons for her retirement as she said 15. she always felt so far away from Japan she was traveling Whereas now with the technology, it helps so much. There were no computers then. There were no, no mobile phones. With Skype, you can feel like you're in touch with your family.
15.30. During her time away, we talked about she ran the marathon. She also did television commentary. She said it gave her a whole new perspective on the game. Every now and again, throwing in the serve and volley, giving Venus a different look. We mentioned the fact that she's moving around her position when she's receiving serve. Let's for service. Also doing that when she serves as well. Sometimes she'll serve further out from the hash mark to give herself more angle. Venus does that. One thing to think about, though, she was during the era of Steffi Groff. It was Steffi Groff that she lost to in the semis here in three sets. Steffi had pretty hard forehand, backhand a consistent slice, but the serve big as well. Mrs. Data Crew. a big miss and I say that when you get an add point get that opportunity you really need to close it out and that was very makeable overhead So, on the end of the row there in the white is David Witt, who's the hitting partner of Venus Williams. Yeah, instead of being up to one and sitting down now, Dati Krum facing a break point to be down to one. Could be a huge momentum changer. Led for service. Just a phenomenal drop shot. And I don't remember her hitting so many drop shots in her first career. <laughs> but she cuts it so fine. <laughs> Advantage misses that a group. Another successful serve and volley point. You 
Matthews. Fourth juice, longest game of the match in terms of juices. to Miss Williams. That return okay, was Ms. going Williams. long. New goals, please. So Venus Williams takes Williams advantage of that misjudgment and she gets the first break first of the second set. set. And one thing we can certainly say, this is a vindication, this match of the decision to put the roof on, I mean, by the club three years ago, because no roof, there'd have been no play today. At least the people outside, they can watch on the giant screens <laughs> on the other show courts, they can watch on the screens, there's tennis for us to show. Otherwise, you and Johnny Mack would have been speaking for hours and we'd have seen his tie break with Borg for the 5,000th time. I love their spirit. Look at that. Rain is nothing to we Brits. We're just <laughs> used to it. You Californians, I mean, it's a different world. Give them an umbrella and they're happy to be out there. And who wouldn't be? This match is just phenomenal. Not only the tennis, but the drama, the storylines. Time. So exciting. The shot making. Brilliant bit of in engineering. People doubted whether you could make it work on a grass court. Would the grass sweat? Would it become unplayable? Man is pretty clever. And women, I hasten to add. Two one then with a break. Second set, better set down the five times champion. New balls. Fifteen love. Yeah, Miss Williams. Miss Williams leads three games to one. Second set. First love game of the match and the first little dip in the form of Kimiko Date Krum. Not surprising to maintain the standard she has for as long as she has. The focus. Concentration just dipped a bit. Fifteen love. That missed overhead be the turning point of this set. The 
let first service. Thirty love. Thirty fifteen. Our fellow BBC presenter, Claire Balding, right behind Kim Cottrell. Claire, of course, you, was your host for Royal Ascot last week. Forty fifteen. Miss Williams leads three games to two, second set. First set misses Date Krum. So a good game for Date Krum when she needed it, having lost the previous three. We've talked about uh, Date Krum's returning. Let's have a look at the Williams serve. So the first serve averaging 100 miles an hour. A lot of those uh, aces hitting the corners. Good depth on that, Tracy. But if we then show the second serve and why she's struggling behind the second serve, He's dropping those far too short. And that's been her tendency in the past. She doesn't have as much depth on the second serve as, say, a Kim Kleisters or a Serena Williams, her sister. She also likes to tend to hit the slice instead of the top spin that kicks up on her opponent. The slice stays down a little bit lower. It's more attackable. And this is... Uh... See how she bounced is, forward yeah. on the return. And look where she is, way inside Five. the baseline and then a quick turn and a rotation with the upper body and the feet and then moving forward. And that's an aggressive manner right there. And that's what you want. It's the, that mentality of going to attack the ball. And taking it so early, right at the top of the bounce. And that's the aggressive manner. It's an attitude. The return of serve is an attitude. And remember, Kimiko is five foot four. Gives up nine inches on her opponent. Well, good things often come in small packages. Well, quick packages. Fifteen love. I think the crowd are taking a little breather as well because they were exhausted, I'm sure, emotionally in that first set. shot added to this match the smiles are back 15 all. shot way behind Kamiko Date and to find her bearings at that point she only had a fraction of a second just phenomenal rarely makes a bad choice in shot selection 
knows her capabilities. Thirty. Here's a chance now for Kimiko Dani to break back. 30-40. Just long. Use. Advantage misses that a group. She guessed right too. Advance to Miss Williams. She was there for the taking. Williams leads four games to two, second set. So Venus Williams uh, staves off the two break back points. Of course, that's such a luxury that Venus Williams has, that big serve to get her out of pickles, whereas Kimiko Dot has to work for the points. Oh. Date Crum with 
No aces. 15, love. <laughs> Remarkably, they both won 71 points in the match. No, it's long. Love. She doesn't play like someone five foot four. She's so aggressive. Aggressive in her court positioning, the way she goes after her shots. Let's Lovely feature about this match is its variety. Between them, we've now had 56 points in which one of them has been at the net. A winner with a backhand slice, and it's a little unorthodox. You're taught to take that left hand off the racket a little earlier. She keeps it on, but works perfectly. Again, excuse me, that's the difference from when she played and say someone like the Williams sisters run their full stretch like that, you know, before someone would pop the ball up. But Venus is able to come back with a shot with some aggression on it. Date getting caught mid-court. Williams leads four games to three second sets. First set misses that a group. We don't have the power of Venus Williams on the serve, but a couple of those lovely slice ones. Perfect placement, got her a couple of cheap points in that game, and crucially staying in touch in this second set. Just the one break. The one break and that one overhead that cost her on game point. Did your rackets have your name on it, Tracy? Actually, I had my own autograph racket. Yes, I did. I got my own initials. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a clothing line in Japan for 25 years, Kamiko's home country. So they're crazy for tennis players, and she's Time. just a huge, huge star. She was asked when she came back on the tour, did mo many players know who you were? And she said, well, you know, few of them. But she said it was actually their coaches <laughs> that came up to me and said hi because they played during my era. Retired at 26 in 1996 at the end of the year. It was 96 where she got to the semifinals here. Ranked eight in the world when she retired. Fifteen love. Go for the pace, but the placement, good angle. 15 all. Not going to get through Venus, so try to get around her.
Williams uses the same tactic. 30-15. Takes some pace off to widen the service box for herself. Miss Williams. Miss Williams leads five games to three, second set. So still that one break of serve in that game where Dutty Crum had the overhead to win it. That's quite a rock, isn't it? My word. You'll be sending a photo of that to your husband, please. <laughs> Dirty Crum serving at 73% of first serves in, Williams at 71. Really starting to tee off on the serve now, finding the feel. Oh. <laughs> that is uh, almost in the crowd. Mr. Isha Thanks, likes 40. it. Date Crumbs passed on that forehand wing for cross court just about every single time. So Williams reads it there for the easy volley. Which gives her set point. all week club Packers <laughs> feel an awful lot better it wasn't that easy though because it was so yes. high or a seen price minus his mom
forehand becoming ever more effective for Williams. Stay down with it better. Finish the shot. And a second set point. An hour and 47 minutes gone, and we will go the distance. And you feel the match of this quality deserves to be a three-setter. Once at all, let's have a look at the uh, stats of the second set then. I mean, Kimiko Darty gets 75% of her first serves in. Few more unforced errors, I suppose you, you look there. Williams with the surplus and uh, Darty Crum with the small deficit. One more error than the winners. And understandably, it didn't have the same total standard as the first set. If you could. Ah, the Chelsea pensioners are in. And uh, Dade Crum, well, an hour and 48 minutes. Does stamina become a factor at all? I think definitely. The way they've been competing and going coast to coast on the baseline, a lot of changes of positioning. You also got to take into account Venus Williams as well, because she has not played much. She played at the Australian Open, had to retire in her third round match because of a stomach injury and hip injuries. Was out for five months, played in Eastbourne last week, three matches, but that's not much. And so it's completely different. You can be on the practice court for weeks on end. When you come out and play a match, get much more tight, much more nervous. Looks like Venus Williams has taken a break. Yes, yeah, she's nipped off, presumably, to the bathroom. That's the way to find out if your children have got that hand-eye coordination. Just get them to bounce the ball on the racket. <laughs> if they can do that, They've got that basic hand-eye coordination. If not, teach them to play the piano or a musical <laughs> say, instrument. What if, what if they can't? Then what do you do? Jennifer Saunders there on the left. In the uh, Royal Box. It's uh, a gathering of thespians in there today. Venus Williams back with us. Time. Kai Nishikori there in the centre, the top Japanese male player, young man who's the first since Shuzo Matsuoka way, way back to win a title. He's out there supporting Kimiko. He is the male version of Kimiko Date in Japan. When he goes back there, it's absolutely crazy. He says he's after Project 46. Matsuoka was ranked 46 in the world. Nishikori has not gotten there yet. That's his Final goal. Set. Miss Nishikori has been out with injury, but it's good to see him back. Huge star. He spends a lot of time in Florida to get away from the fans. Final set then. Venus Williams to serve.
15, love. We saw that in the first set. The difference was she was hitting winners on those shots. Playing lights out tennis, Kamiko Date. And both of them have illustrated the fact that when you're on top, move forward, it's so easy to finish the point off. You don't allow your opponent back into the point. Especially Venus, she's so daunting up there with her reach. Tough to get around her. Clever, opened the face of the racket. Venus thought, oh, she's going to play the drop shot. Instead, she sliced it deep. Venus Williams moves in. She pushes it right behind her. Plays so well within herself. It's too good. First game, final set. An eighth ace then for Venus Williams. Gives her the first game of the final set. We're talking about stamina. Well, Kimiko's run a marathon in three and a half hours. She's got stamina, but tennis is a little different. It's completely different. Three and a half hours of the same movement without the stress. I mean, the stress that, yes, you want to finish it in a certain time, but this is every single point with stress on you. And it's those quick sprints and the change of direction that are so demanding on the body. Stay focused and concentrated and engage for every point. Big game here for Dade Krum. Must stay with Williams. I mean, this is such a good front runner. Krom needs to keep her first service percentage up. Second serves just like. Oh. 15 all. Incidentally, you might be wondering, well, play about to get underway on the outside, got the other courts, would they open the roof? No. Once you start under the roof, you finish under the roof, even if it's brilliant sunshine. That's right. Same playing conditions.
Date Krom, even though she doesn't have the same power on that first serve of Williams, she's moved it around the box effectively. Wide up the tee and sometimes at the body. Great point for Williams. The last two shots, the forehand air, the backhand air, just a half a step late from Date Crum. Legs have really been taxed. Called wide, looking at her camp, and she's going to have a challenge. The ball was called out. And it's, it's in. Yeah, caught the outside edge. Keeps her alive this game. Two games to love. Final set. Impressive play again from Venus Williams, and for the first time she's ahead in the match. Remember, she lost th the first three games of the match, and now Dade Krum is going to have to find the form she displayed at the start of the match just to stay with Williams. It's taken Venus Williams two hours to really get a grip on this match. Venus has really picked up her play. 30, love. And if she actually gets through this match, this is a good match for her to have under her belt, not having too much match play. Only her second tournament back. Terrific shot, but if you don't hit it quite hard enough, someone as speedy as Kamiko Date. Took the net cord to get the point. Venus was there.
First the fist, and then the <laughs> apology. That's classic. Yes, I won the point. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Well, just when we thought that Williams was pulling away, Darte Crum with a chance to break back. Sure did look like Venus Williams was in the driver's seat. of the match and Daddy Crumb breaks place. back. Miss Williams leads two games to one final set. You were referring earlier on, Tracy, to the mental strengths of Kimiko Darty, winning that first set on her eighth set point, and now breaking back just when we thought Venus had finally got on top of the, the match. She has such resilience, and just the way that she thinks on court must be so positive because she doesn't allow herself to think too far ahead and anything negative, just plays point by point, and that's all you can control. New balls in play. A break of serve each in the second set. One, the third set, one, two. Will she challenge? Miss Williams is challenging the she call will. on the left baseline. The ball was called out. Good challenge. And uh, Venus giving Eva Azdaraki quite a stare, saying, couldn't you have overruled on that one? That's a kind of free point that Kamiko Date can't let go because she doesn't have that huge serve to give her quick points. Fifteen thirty. So two in a row now in a bit of a hold. Bit of a hole. A 
bounces back like that. Exactly. Here. The great Harry Hopman said, never look back, always look forward. It's the next point that matters. Not too far forward. That's just great hitting by both players. 30, 40. Oh, what have I got to do to win a point? Break point Williams for a third straight break. And there are too many second round matches on the women's side played this high quality the championships this year uh, advantage miss williams We've talked about physical stamina, but mental stamina must come to, to play at this level, at this intensity for over two hours. Very much so. Being able to stay focused. That serve was in, incidentally. So perhaps justice done. Yes. The Venus went sinks her. I Should think we? the mental toughness is especially tough on this surface where things tend to happen quicker. Things can get away from you rapidly. Suddenly the whole level of tennis is rising again, right back up to where we were in the first set. Miss Williams. Wrong footing, Date. Date Crum. <laughs> first ace of the match for Date Crum after two hours and 11 minutes. And on a break point. Advantage, Miss Williams. Well now, overruled by Eva Azdarakian, is she going to... Use. Yep, she's awarded the point as a clean winner. And of course, Venus Williams can challenge if she wants, but doesn't. This, if Venus had challenged, she would have been unsuccessful. Plum on the line, four break points saved now. Venus will have a fifth. Advantage, Miss Williams. Oh. 
led for service. Five juices now. A sets of supporters going through the agony and ecstasy of it all. Advantage, Miss Williams. Perhaps now guilty of going for too much too soon in a rally. She was late there. Set up with her feet much better on that shot. Use. So frequently the airs are produced when your feet are not in the right place. This game almost up to nine minutes, having saved six break points. Now, Darty Crum has her first game point. Cross court again on the forehand pass, and Venus is there. We've got to mix it up. Wow, a great volley. I think the return was going long. Didn't matter. Advantage, Mrs. Datekroom. Over 10 minutes now, this game. Having faced six break points, and after exactly two and a quarter hours, we cannot separate these two. It's a set all and two games all. Two games all. Final set. That was that lovely serve and volley. Fifteen love. Just never gives up on the full stretch. That takes so much out of you.
ustedes se dilatan. Forza il lato. Terrific shot, love game for Venus Williams, she's back in front, 3-2, final set. Miss Williams leads three games to two, final set. Time. Two, three, final set. Fifteen love. Fourth game was over ten minutes, and the fifth game, two minutes and twenty-three seconds. That's the that ability to come up with the big serves from Venus Williams. Get control of your service game. Fifteen. Yeah, that's two poor returns into the net. Frustrating for Venus. And the second one was terrific return, so the consistency is just not there yet. Amazing, so much power can come out of such a tiny lady. 40, 15. Great stroke production, very short and concise, but she really uses all of her body. Great shoulder turn, uses her legs. Great hip rotation. Forty, thirty.
Gordon Long, Williams inquiring. Is she going to challenge? It appears not. Game. This is that the group. Three games all. Final set. Asking the chair umpire, Eva, as to Rocky if it was long. She got confirmation, so did not challenge. Fifteen, love. It's lovely to see a player who can smile out there, even if she hits a bad shot. She's does, yeah, she doesn't hide her emotions. Oh. <laughs> Easy to cheer for someone like that. Wait, please. Love. He likes to take that half volley on the rise. It's a difficult shot, but it was so effective in the first set, particularly. Forty love. Nine aces now for Venus Williams and. It's significant that suddenly she's holding so very comfortably at seven straight points on serve. So a second successive love service game. One of the reasons I've enjoyed this match so much, Tracy, is that it's an all-court match. So here's the total points won. Venus actually now has nine ahead. But if we uh, can illustrate the way they're winning the, the points. They've... For example, if we take uh, Kimiko Date Crum, she's won 21, 21 points at the net uh, on serve, 45 from the baseline, 30 at the net. So it's an all court match. Some good variety. Time. Neither player fearful of coming into the net and successful up there. Seen early return of serves from Kimiko Date. Fearless in returning the powerful Venus Williams serve. Duchess of Cornwall alongside Philip Brook, the new chairman of the Old England Club. 3 4, final set. Fifteen, love. There's so much difference between the players in height and their ability to produce power. Hit the big serves. The one thing that Williams is really struggling with at the moment is the service return and she is not happy. Particularly on an 82 mile an hour first serve, not putting it back in play. Mom Oracine Price hitting partner David Witt. He's been with Venus for years. Oh. 
forward to love. Very sloppy game from Venus Williams at such a crucial stage in the match. A third double fault. Do you think Venus having this little lull is all due to sort of ring rustiness, not having played much? I think so. And nerves. Forty thirty. Hasn't had a love service game in the match, and maybe she lost a little bit of concentration at 40 love. Should be fully focused now at 40 30. Well, being a greedy sort of guy, I wanted three sets, and I wanted a competitive final set, and we've got it. shot with terrific precision it's been going cross court love 15 two and a half hours Fifteen. and it's a set all four all and 15 all Double figures in the aces count now, Williams. Anticipation from Williams runs in with a racket down low and loaded and gets the net court. Forty 
Thank you. Miss Williams leads five games to four, final set. In a match as close as this, to be able to come up with the ace is such an advantage. And also, I think, the fact that she is ahead now. No tie breaks, of course, in the final set. 5-4 up, and from now on, Kimiko is always going to be playing catch-up unless she can break. It's tougher playing catch-up, but I would like to see on a big point like that, Kimiko Date move to her right just a little bit on the return and take the favorite serve of Venus Williams away. Make her hit the one out wide. You now we know so much about Venus Williams and what she's done here at Wimbledon, five-time champion. For Kamiko Date, after coming back in 2008, she's only been able to win one Grand Slam match before this year's Wimbledon. Of course, her second one was when she beat Katie O'Brien in the first round here. The only other Grand Slam match she was able to win was the French Open last year where she beat Dinara Safina. Time. This is just the big moment of her comeback. Serving to stay in the match. Big serve on the first point. It's always nice to get that lead. Love. Give yourself a little cushion. Such a critical game. Fine return off a serve that actually was plumb on the service line. Karam within two feet of the lines on each shot. Pictures that need no words. The reaction of the crowd says it all. Five all, final set. And you sort of would like them to say, stop now and call it a draw. 
Somebody's got to lose there. too good. Volley hit with conviction. 15 love. At the pace that Venus is hitting, I think Date Crum wouldn't be able to handle it, but she absorbs it and sends it back with interest. Fifteen. Great return, wonderful get from Williams and immaculate volley. I don't think anybody else on tour would have gotten that return back. Led for service. I love that just about every point in this critical game is won, not lost. Williams leads six games to five, final set. And the standard of the match is now right back where we were in that first set. And again, Williams ahead, so again, Dade Crump has to hold serve to stay in the match. So many memories to take away from this now. Whoever wins. And I think one thing I'll remember is the mental strength of both of them because they've both faced crises in this match. 
and they've not backed off from the challenge. And when we talk about pressure, yes, there is huge pressure out there, but the great athletes in any sport thrive on those moments. They view it as a challenge, a challenge to be overcome, and that's what separates the, the great from the merely very good. Well, they, they understand the critical points, and in the critical points, they're able to elevate rather than Time. deflate. And that uh, really takes so much about staying in the moment, staying focused, keeping your heart rate down. I hate to think what mine is at the moment. <laughs> Out, love 15. think of the best and the mental players are the ones that want a situation like this. And can produce shots like that at such a moment. 15 all. points from Date Krum, really applying the pressure. Final set. Another poor returning game from Venus Williams. Six all final set. Reminder, no tie breaks. 70-68, here we come, uh, Tracy. <laughs> Just remember that this woman is 40 years old. Her opponent is 31. It's described in the program as the Zimmer frame match. I think they've uh, put that remark firmly in its place. Fifteen love. Shortest backswing possible and just the block. Three millimeters in that return. Thirty fifteen.
much as her fastest serve of the day. 120, she's hit a few of those. Out. Thirty. Second serve, Dante Crum continuing to stand well inside that baseline, strike it early. Rushing Venus Williams. Nearly took out the center service judge. <laughs> Well, that was a chance for Dottie Crumb. It was 30 all, second serve, got into the rally. And that's so crucial. Once you're into the rally, you feel like, really, I've got to get this because a big serve might be coming the next point. That one actually a little Advanced slower at 98 Williams. miles per hour, and she hit it early. Didn't come through the court as quickly as she thought. But then the 120 mile an hour again, and Kimiko just blocks yes. it back. Amazing. She must have the sort of reactions of, of one of those Top Cat fighter pilots. Top Gun. Very quick with the hands in that first step. She had 0.68 of a second to react to that serve. Eyes. The eyes are so crucial as well to pick it up. Oh. Advantage, Miss Williams. It was only 80 miles an hour. It was halfway up the box. That was a great opportunity. And they know it in there. And you just wonder if those
time. For a third time then. Dottie Crum serving to stay in the match, 6-7. And I can't Love help 15. feeling, Tracy, that those chances she had on those second serves in that last game might have been crucial. That's love long. 30. And it's love 30. Fifteen thirty. Oh, no. Fifteen forty. After two hours and fifty five minutes, the five times champion has two match points. people are on their feet including the entire royal box a magnificent match At the age of 40, Kimiko Dadi Crum has rolled back the years. But Venus Williams has shown us just why she is a great champion. Just a phenomenal match, such high quality, and the difference really was the serve. Kimiko Dadi Crum walking off center court to a huge round of applause and she deserves it but she's so disappointed right now that last game went all too quickly after a nearly three hour match and it's venus williams then who advances to the third round she'll play either maria jose martinez sanchez of spain or the romanian monica nicolescu but a match to savor, a match to remember, particularly that first set was just brilliant tennis. And a match that was fun to be a part of because there are so many great shots, terrific shot making from both players. But I will remember that first set from Kamiko Date, the way that she came out here, played with conviction, had a game plan, and played without fear. So let's just confirm the score. Williams wins 6 7, 6 3, 8 6 in 2 hours and 56 minutes. And she, here she is with Rishi Passad. Venus, can you tell us just how tough that was for you today? Yeah, it was tough. I mean, 
she came out and I just uh, couldn't seem to get a game and she played so well and before I knew it the ball was past me every time in the first set and coming so close to winning the first set was a little bit frustrating and she just she just plays so well every ball hits the, the line on the baseline and she played so aggressively I, I just give her a lot of credit and I'm glad to come through. Having not had that much tennis this year, do you feel that that's the kind of game that you really needed or one that you didn't need? Oh, I mean, obviously I'd prefer to win in straight sets with no breaks, but uh, against a player like her today, I mean, right into the end she was attacking, and even that last shot I thought I hit a great approach, and she almost hit a passing shot. So mm -hmm. that was the story of the match, but I'm really glad that I was able to serve well. I think that really got me through. How far away do you think you are from your absolute best? Um, I, you know, I don't focus on my game like that. It's just important to play each point and to just to co keep competing, keep battling. And I feel like I'm playing better than Eastbourne. I feel like my movement is a lot better. And um, surprisingly, I'm not feeling um, any, any pain from my injury right now. So that's more than I expected. And finally, what was the experience like under the roof? Oh, it was awesome to be able to play, and it was raining out there. It's definitely a little bit warmer, and um, having not played on center court without the roof, I don't know if it was faster or not, but it's fantastic that we have one. Venus, well done today. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thanks.